In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make clean burning hydrogen gas from hydrochloric acid and aluminum. Hydrochloric acid is extremely dangerous and you should never use it unless you're going to follow the safety guidelines that I give you. The idea for this project came from a project done by the YouTube channel Nighthawk and Light and I'll have links in the description where you can see that video. Also in the video, there's a lot of cool explosions that you can see. So yeah, go ahead and check that out. It's a really cool video. So my setup is pretty similar, except I'll be using a uh, different reaction vessel, as you can see. And I'm also using a heat sink, because I'm not sure how the bottle is going to react to all the heat that's going to be uh, given off by this reaction. As you can see, the bubbler is um, a half-inch vinyl tubing epoxied into a uh, soda bottle. Then you can see I'm zip tying a uh, trash bag to the bubbler and I was trying to fill that up but uh, as you'll see it didn't really work out. Now before proceeding with the hydrochloric acid you must wear heavy duty latex gloves. Now the reason why I use that glass coke bottle was because number one they uh, sterilize those bottles uh, when they reuse them by boiling water so we know that they're going to be pretty well uh, resistant to the heat and also the half inch vinyl tubing uh, fits very snugly in there and makes a nice seal. Once again, be very careful when you're using the hydrochloric acid, always wear gloves. And uh, But as you can see, the uh, source of aluminum is, you could use uh, aluminum foil, but I used uh, a cut up sheet of aluminum from actually the uh, heat sink vessel that you can see there. So uh, I rolled up the aluminum like that and put three in, uh, three of those rolls in and then quickly put the tube back on. But the problem was I had uh, way too much hydrochloric acid in that bottle and I totally underestimated the uh, reaction power. And you can see within about 30 seconds, uh, the reaction really starts taking off. And then uh, the level of acid was way too much and you can see it starts bubbling over there. And like, you know, the reaction is like out of control and uh, so, but don't worry, there wasn't any uh, any acid that got inside the trash bag or anything. It was all contained, and as you can see, I'm like so scared of like wringing my hands together. It's funny to watch. But yeah, yeah everything was fine, and eventually the uh, reaction slowed down a bit. But as you can see, there's like flakes of aluminum in the bubbler. So yeah, be careful. Only fill the bubbler, I'd say like half full. So keep adding aluminum until the acid stops foaming and then you can switch out a batch of hydrochloric acid and start again. So I was trying to fill that trash bag but uh, I was running out of acid and time so I settled for a little par party balloon and so that was really cool just to see it rise it was like woohoo after an hour and a half it's, I finally have this little balloon so yeah it was exciting <laughs> and then I put a little screw in there and that's actually what uh, kept it down as I lit it off and so yeah hydrogen I believe is the most explosive gas in the universe so yeah be careful I didn't expect it to be that explosive and so I sort of burnt my hand but it was through the gloves and so it didn't really feel that bad. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. So basically here is how the reaction works. All atoms need eight outer electrons to be happy you could say. So uh, basically chlorine has seven valence electrons but it needs eight of course. So this means that it is highly electronegative which means that it easily grabs electrons from other atoms and so it takes one from hydrogen and hydrogen basically loses its electron in what is called a ionic bond so that is how hydrochloric acid is uh, bonded together now on the other hand aluminum this is just one atom of free aluminum you could say it has three valence electrons or outer electrons and uh, so what happens is va uh, metals easily lose their electrons that is one of the main uh, the main properties of metals and so basically chlorine will let go of hydrogen so that it can easily more easily grab one of its electrons from aluminum and it does that with two other chlorine atoms and this makes aluminum chloride 
So, yeah, and then also the hydrogen can basically escape, and uh, but when you break a bond, then you also create heat, and so that is why uh, I use the heat sink in my reaction. So this is the uh, basic chemistry of how the reaction works.